The leadership of the Nigerian military has called for viable partnerships from public-spirited individuals, even as it strives to bolster national security. Chief of Army Staff Major General Tarid Abiodun Lakbaja gave the assurance in Ibadan during a two-day working visit in commemoration of this year's Army Day celebration. The top military officer who visited the office of the governor in Agode also sought royal blessings at the palace of the Olu Iba Olubadan of Ibadan land, where he promised to do more to secure the lives and properties of Nigerians. Our correspondent John Alabi filed in this report. It is his first official visit outside the corridors of power since his assumption of office as the highest ranking military officer. And Oyo State is his first port of call. The Chief of Army Staff, in company of top brass of the Nigerian military, are here to seek viable mechanisms and the onerous task of ensuring national peace and security, and the Oyo State government is a willing partner. Oyo State is a very big uh, state. Uh, at least, uh, when you look at the southwest uh, zone of Nigeria, uh, we're actually the biggest uh, in terms of land mass. And when you compare us uh, to, let's say, the uh, southeastern part of the uh, country, uh, in terms of land mass, uh, if you put all the states in the southeast together, they're just about the size of uh, your state. Uh, but it has remained a very stable state security-wise. The meeting was short, and it was meant to just introduce ourselves, having just assumed command about a week ago. Thank and you very much, Chief of during that occasion, the president still espoused the need for us to operate in synergy amongst ourselves and with other security agencies. And we are going to work along that trajectory. The army chief and his entourage also visited the palace of the Olubadon of Ibadan land to seek for real blessings as the military seeks to restore peace and security across the country. In their various submissions, members of the Olubadon in council reaffirmed their support for the military. When I was in the Senate, at the ninth Senate, and we are confronted, we know we are still being confronted by insurgencies, kidnapping, insecurity all over the country. <coughs> we ensured that as much as possible within the available resources, we supported the army with the funds that they needed. Because if you have professional men and women in our armed forces, all that the government can do is to encourage them by funding them so that they could have proper training. We thank you for the work you have been. We appreciate it. The Nigerian military says it is determined to restore public confidence as it seeks to perform its constitutional duties. To achieve this, it called for more viable partnership from all stakeholders. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.